We're gonna get started. So stand up nice and big, switch your watches to other, and start to roll your shoulders back and around. Uh, notice the stiffness from, I don't know. Yeah, Cindy, keep moving. And let's take the arms forward, just take them up and dive them forward. I feel like we have a special guest with Debbie on a Wednesday. Three more, two more, one more. Take a big breath in, open the arms, hinge forward, shoot it back, open up. Hinge forward, shoot it back. Is this what they say, the calm before the storm maybe? Because the sun just came out. We're in Florida. What do you know, another storm. Four more, three more, two more, one more. Stay back, little pulses here. Press the arms, just tilt the hips. Press it out, widen your legs a little bit more, and then take it to this little airplane, side to side, or windmill, I don't know. Add a little lunge, side to side. Good, four more, three more, two more. On this last one, hold it to your right side. Place your hand on top of your thigh, or down to your ankles, twist. Reach up in four, three, two, one, hands down. Walk it over to the other side, bend your knee, hand on your thigh or your foot, twist. Four, three, two, one, come back to center. Hands in between your legs, bend your knees, look forward. Straighten your legs, fold down. Do that a couple more times, straighten the legs. One more time. We're gonna hold the forward fold. Take your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers. Stretch your arms up overhead, hang your head down. Stay there for four more counts. Three, two, one, and down. Hands on thighs, you can bring your feet a little closer. A little cat cow here, arch your back. Then round and curl, tuck the tailbone underneath you. Round your back, arch your back. Round your back, tuck the tailbone beneath you. Arch your back, stay here. Release the arms, take them out in front of you, press them out, send your weight back to your heels, and then reach all the way up, stand up. Lean to your right side. Lean to your left side. Come back to your center. Take the arms, open little cactus arms, and then release them down, roll your shoulders. Go ahead and grab a set of weights, moderate to heavier. Um, see what your body is talking to you about right now this morning. Every day is a slightly different feeling. We've got three exercises in one, or three yeah, exercises in one exercise. So we're going to start with a squat. Come down, bring your arms in a hammer curl straight up overhead. We stop at the shoulders on this one so it's not a snatch like we did, um, I believe, last week. Feet are hips width apart if you're not squatting. Keep the arm work happening or get a little bit of a hip hinge in some fashion. All right, here we go. Moderate to heavier weights, first set. We go in four, three, two, one, we squat. So come down, hammer curl, take it overhead for 10. Again, two, make sure that you drop your hips. Three, before you bend your knees, up, four, five, Six, seven, drop the seat, three more, eight, good, two more, nine, one more time, bring it down. Like we did in our warm up, we've got a lunge side to side, we have alternating bicep curls, so as we come up, we rotate the arms in a bicep curl. So feet are wide, as wide as you want to get them. Lunge right, left, alternate arms, 20 reps. It's 10 altogether, right? Four, three, yeah, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, so this is six, seven, good. Five more, five, four, Three, two, and one. So it's 20 alternating, but 10 all together. Bring your feet a little closer, bend your knees. Back to that moderate heavy weight if you've changed it for a rear delt fly. Hips go back, 
Chest goes out. In three, two, one, we fly. 10, nine, drop your chin down to your chest if you feel tension in your neck. Four, good, five, six, good. Stay with your floor, torso forward. Eight, two more. And one, good. Now, I'm gonna take one weight just because they feel like it's easier to deal with. And we're gonna hold the weight, or two weights, right in the center of your body. Legs are a little bit wider than hips. And all we're doing is rotating the torso. Without, you can pivot if you want, but otherwise keep your lower half steady and just rotate through the torso. The arms are just gonna stay nice and close. Right side, left side, we go one, two, three. So often we do it with a chop, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, and 10, that's it. And just like that, round two. Same exercises, same weights, or go heavier or go lighter if you noticed that you needed to change it up. Feet are about hips width apart. We go in four. Three, two, what's the sun doing? One, here we go. Squat, hammer, press, that's one. Two, three, four, five, weight back into your heels, six, seven, Eight, two more, nine, last time, 10. Good, separate your legs, alternating, lunge and bicep curl in four, three, two, here we go. One, two, three, I'll count this way down, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 more. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, and 1. Feet come closer together. Bent over, rear delt flies. Moderate to light, heavy, moderate weights. Get all the way forward. 3, 2, go. 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two more. One more. Stand up. All right. We've got that trunk twist, that trunk rotation. One heavy weight, two weights, light, medium, heavy, feet apart, hips stay centered. Three, two, we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, and ten. There you go. All right. Final set. Sorry. Standing up. Pick up your moderate heavy weights, whatever you're going with today. If you're really jet lagged, go lighter. <laughs> See where we got. Four, three, last set, two. Squat first, one, here we go. Squat, hammer, overhead press, one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, alternating lunges, alternating bicep curls. Choose your weight, 
Choose your distance. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> excuse me, nine, one more, is ten. Good. Bring your feet back together. Bent over rear flies. Moderate heavy. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Let your chin come down if you feel tension in the neck. Four. Five. <coughs> six. Seven. Eight. Nine and 10. Good, I'm going for that one heavier weight. Rotation, tongue rotations. Legs out, bent knees, three, two. Here we go, side to side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <coughs> nine, and 10. There you go. Circuit one is over. On to circuit two. First exercise is a front lunge, holding a weight. Front lunge, rotate, come back and do the same side again. We do go to the other side for the second exercise. All right? So again, take one moderate to heavier weight. Whatever you think your body can handle, you can hold it either way, up, down, or over to the sides. Here we go. Right foot forward. Step forward lunge. If you're not doing a lunge, then just do a little tap forward to get the rotation. If you are doing a lunge, take a generous step. Bend both knees to the floor. Three, two, go. Lunge, rotate, come back, same side. Two, rotate, come back. Again. Three, rotate. Again, four. That's it. Five, six, seven, eight, two more, nine, last one, ten. Switch sides in four. Three, same thing, other side, go. One, come on back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, Last two. One more. And back, good, all right. Still one weight, you can always go to two. Um, moderate to heavy. We're gonna hold the weight any way again. You can hold it either side or up and down. It's a chest press from the front and an overhead press to the ceiling. All right, so the arms push forward. Your hips are, you know, slightly hinged. Pick up your weights in four, three, two, one, we go. Push and up one. Push, up two. Push, up three. Push, up four. Good, out five, awesome guys. Six, seven, eight, Nine and 10. Now, if you hold the weights over your head, your next exercise will come right from there. So we're gonna take our arms, chop through the center like a crunch and a pullover and up on the floor. We chop our arms down, we forcefully exhale and crunch torso to thighs. Arms up in three, two, here we go. Crunch, one, two, that's the breathing, three, Four, so it's not a squat. Five, 
Six, but your knees are bending. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine. And that's 10. Good, all right. That's your second set, second circuit. Back to the first exercise of lunge with rotation. I'm gonna keep the same weight in my hands just for the ease of it. Turn your weights either way, your choice. And again, if you're not lunging, get the rotation. You can still step forward and do the rotation without the lunge. If you're lunging, get as low as your body will allow you. Get ready. In four, three, right leg forward. And go. Lunge, rotate, same side. Two. Come back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Good. Seven. Eight. Two more. We're gonna go right to the next side. One more. Left side, go. One, rotate. And of course, if you're on the other side, do what you gotta do. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Two more. Last one. And there. All right. Chest press or just a push to an overhead push. A lot of pushing today. A little bit of pulling. Not too much. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. Out. One, two. If you're gonna lean, don't lean back. Three, lean forward. Four, five. Now remember, we're gonna hold that last one, six, over our head. Seven, eight, nine. Keep this last one overhead, 10. And right from here, cross, uh, just chop. Three, two, go. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, all right. Take a little water, a little towel down, and we have our final set. So. Almost there. One weight is all we need for this set. Right leg is first, front lunge with the rotation. Hold your weights up. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Lunge, rotate. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, three more. Eight, we go right into the other side. Nine, and 10. Good, right onto the left side. Lunge, rotate, that's it, one. Lunge, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, three more, eight, nine, one more, ten, that's it. We've got that push and a push overhead. Ready to go? In four, three, two, one, let's go. Out, one, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, swept out of my eyes, eight, nine, hold the last one up, ten, reach up in four, three, two, one, let's go, one, two, three, four, turn your torso down, five, so get, bend your torso, six, think of it like a crunch, seven, eight, more of a crunch than a squat, nine, and ten, good, all right, grab yourself some water, right down, our third standing set, third circuit, and the truth is, it's our last circuit. Then we're changing up when we go down to the floor. All right, light weights, my choice, your choice. We're gonna do a side to side curtsy, side to side. So we've got 20 reps of arms, because right, left. So go lighter, very light if you need to. You can bend the arms, fully bent arm, or keep the arms a little bit straighter. And again, it's always up to you, right? You wanna go heavier, that's fine. Just make sure that you can keep good form and not take the front of your shoulders. All right, we start. Right leg goes behind. Three, two, good. One. Two. Three. Alternating legs, yes? Four, five, good. Six, get the legs behind each other. Seven, keep your hips steady. Eight, nine, and 10. Good, try on those curtsies not to be so much here with your hips, but to be a little bit straighter with your hips. So hug everything towards the midline. All right, we've got a high row, bent over, arms are gonna pull up this way, not a high pull, but a high row. You can keep it a normal row, whatever works for your body today. All right. All right, moderate heavy, bend your knees, hinge forward, we go in four, Three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, stand up. All right, kickbacks, bend over, bend your knees, elbows by your side. The shoulders don't move, just the elbows. In three, Two, go. Ten. Nine. Again, if you feel tension in your neck, drop your chin. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right. This one is a crunch like we just did with the arms pulling down, but we're adding a knee lift to it. So we'll be doing 20 of those. Arms up, just like we did before, but we crunch with the knee up in four, three, just watch your knees, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. Fold your body in half, six, seven. Bring your torso to your thighs, guys. Eight, nine, so not just your arms. 10, round your spine, yeah, 11, 12. Oh, bison, I'll send you the rest. Four, three, two, and one. All right, so without a weight, I'll show you. We're bringing our arms overhead. We're, I'll turn to the side, it's easier. We're crunching here, not just here, right? So everything comes 
together. But you have two more shots at that one. So we're gonna go back to the lighter weights curtsy lunge. Side to side, alternating sides. Pick up your weights. Right foot goes first. In four, three, two, one, let's go. One. Two. Depending on the size of your space, three, how wide you can go. Four. You can bend the arms more. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Control it, guys. Don't just swing. Nine. Ten. Good. And then come to your moderate to heavier weights. Bent over um, high, high rows. High rows. In three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four. Tension in the neck, drop your chin. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Stand up. Give it a break. Good. Hinge forward. Elbows back. No movement in your shoulder. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. There you go. Four. Three. Two more. One more. Good. Keep one weight or keep two. Your choice. Arms up. Crunch with a knee and a chop. Arms up. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Bring your torso down. Make it a crunch. Six. Five, good. Four. Three. Two more. Ooh. One more. Ooh. Ooh. Good. Woo. All right. Third set. Last set. Best set. Light weights. If you know that your shoulders are getting tired and you're starting to take it into your traps in your neck, go to a lighter weight or even without weight. All right. Curtsy lunges right foot first. Weights up. In four, this is our last set. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Remember, you could change the arms. Six. There's still side raises. Five. Don't swing, bro. Four. Control. If you're not using heavy weights, slow the arms down. Two more. One more. Good. All right. High rows. Bend the knees. Hinge forward just like you're doing a uh, regular row. Put the arms pull higher. Here we go. Four control is at three. Two. All right, here we go, high rows. One. Two. Three. Four, keep your shoulder blades down. Five, I'm just changing arm in front of the other. Seven. Eight, two more. Nine. 10, good, bend over, or stand up first. Kickbacks in four, three, two, one, let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two more. One more, good, one weight, last time. Arms up overhead. 
Alternate knee crunches in three, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more. Ten, nine, eight, good. Seven, make it a crunch. Bring your upper body to your lower. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Here we go. Take your mat. Come on down to the floor. All right, we're going to go back here. Take your towel, take your water. Uh, so there's not that much with weights, if I can remember, if I can see that far. So this is now a challenge, a time challenge. We have a minute of time. We have 45 seconds of work, which means we have 15 seconds to recover and move on to the next exercise. All right, we're only doing one set of these, but there's um, a few of them. And I think we have a plank challenge coming up at the end. Okay, onto your forearms. Yes, it's a plank. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger, right? So come onto your forearms, onto your knees. Now remember, if being on your forearms in a plank, you know, it's just, just challenging for you, then um, come to your knees, right, and hold that plank. But if you can hold this, legs out, all right, we're gonna dip our hips from side to side. That's all we're gonna do. So if your knees are down, you'll do the same. Ready, set, here we go, 45 seconds. One, side to side. Let me see you. Rotate your hips, so I should see the right over the left and the left over the right. Good, good. I only see your legs, Joe, but they're beautiful. <laughs> 20 seconds more. Hang in for 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, and one, good, all right. So your next exercise, you're here on your toes. Hands are here. You're gonna come down and you're gonna hinge forward, come back up, hinge forward. It's kind of like going into crow, but it's like a little bit of a push-up. All right, let's go. Here we go. Hinge forward, push-up. If you wanna go into crow, if those of you who know what that is, that's okay, but you know, you're not hanging there. Good, so you're just having a little bit of, you know, like a momentum, 20 seconds more. The feet can come off the floor, they don't have to. Hinge forward, bend your elbows, bend your elbows. Sit back, lift your hands up. So you're free, and then you're in. Free arms. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good, take it moderate towards heavy weight. We're gonna do a full sit-up and a twist. If you cannot do a full sit-up, then you stay up and just twist. Here we go, I'll start in the upright position. Three, two, one, let's twist. One, two only, roll down and come back up. Twist, twist. Go down, come back up, twist, twist. That's it. If you can remember, when you sit up, Change the lead arm in a twist. All the way down, all the way up. If you cannot do that, then you're just staying up and twisting. Good, 10 more seconds, that's all. Three, two, one. Good, on your backs, legs up. Hands behind your head. All 
alternating toe taps with a straight or bent leg. All right, three, two, head and shoulders stay up, go. Tap, so here's a bent knee. Again, the movement's out of the hips, not the knee. If you wanna do it straight leg, that's fine. Listen to your back. Twenty-five seconds. Good. Don't change the position of your knee. So Joe, just move it out of your hip, not your knee. Keep your knee in the same position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Ten seconds. We've got five. Three, two, one, good. Feet on the floor. We've got a hip bridge and a march. You can put a weight on your hips if you want. So we're just gonna march, we're gonna kick our legs in the air while our hips stay up. Here we go, in three, two, we're there. Kick, kick. Or you can bring your knee up, bent. Keep going, keep going. Keep going. I'm just tying my shoe. All right, so your hips stay up. So put a little bit of work into the back of your shoulders to press you down. Put a little, put a little bit of work into your feet when they're on the ground. Good, you got 10 seconds. Nothing crazy here, guys. Three. Two, and one. All right, so now you can have your feet on the floor bent, straight, or even legs in the air, or actually bend these here. We're gonna reach side to side, all right? Here we go. Head and shoulders up, hand behind your head if you need it. Go, one. Doesn't matter how many you do, but you might wanna count them. Again, if you need a hand behind your head, actually if you need two hands, you can make this like a scooping semicircle. You can have your legs up and you can reach to your heels this way, whatever you want. 20 seconds. Keep going. Just side to side, really scoop out that floor. You know, slide along the floor. Reach to the outside of your feet. You've got three, two, and one. Legs in the air. Hands behind your head again. Head and shoulders up is optional. All you're gonna do is lift your hips up and look at me. Notice that I'm not, all right, Dad, bye. Um, know that you're not kicking your knees to your face, but you're lifting your feet to the ceiling. Go, up, down, up, down. So again, the head and shoulders up is optional. And if you don't want to hold your head, and you don't need to, you can just reach your hands to your feet and lift your shoulders a little higher. Keep it going. You should be feeling kind of an intense burn in your abdominal area. And you only have 15 seconds left to go from here. It's a small movement for most of us, but it's an effective movement. It's really working the entire center of your body free. Two, one. Now, next exercise. We're going to roll over oops, and come up to a teaser. Roll over, come into a teaser. Or a bent knee, boat pose. Ready, set, begin. So, roll your legs over, come up balanced, roll over, come up balanced, roll over. Now, some of you will come into it. That wasn't good, but some of you will come into this straight leg, right? Good. And if you're not rolling over, you know, if that's not in your um, game today, then just, that's good, Rosemary. Then just, you know, get a little bit of that momentum going so that you can come up and balance. Balance. Three, two, one, on your backs. 
bicycles, sorry Michelle, modify if you need to guys, on your backs, knees over your hips, hands behind your head, elbow to opposite knee, outside of the knee, three, two, go. Now, if you're going fast, make sure it's controlled. The lower you let your legs come, the more challenging it becomes, but also again, more challenging on your back. The neck is neutral. Your hands are supporting the weight of your head, but your neck is not turning side to side. Just the torso. Try to reach all the way to the outside of your thigh. Keep it going. All the way to the outside of your thigh. Good, yet you can take it at a slower pace. We got 10 seconds. Two, and one. Next one is just a good old fashioned crunch. You can be on the floor, in the air, or straight up. Hands are behind your head, and again, your head doesn't move. In three, two, here we go. Crunch, up, down. Tilt your pelvis, pull the belly button to the spine, ribs to hips. Again, don't pull your elbows forward to pull your chin forward. Just let your arms support the weight of your head. So here's another option in the air. And so here's another option in the air straight. Now if you don't need your hands behind your head, feel free to reach. It's just a basic crunch. Now I don't want to upset you guys, but your last Exercise comes in another 15 seconds, so put your feet down. Put the soles of your feet together. We're gonna come to a full sit up and reach in front of your um, legs. If you cannot do that, legs in the air, reach to it. Ready? Go. Reach in front of your toes. Come all the way down. Now try to keep your arms over your shoulders, not over your head, so there's a little bit less of that momentum in bringing yourself up. But I want you to reach in front of your toes and get a nice release, a nice stretch. For 20 seconds. Stay there for 10 seconds, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. I know you feel the burn. You're almost there in five. Three, two, and one. Sit up here and just fold over. Ah, uh, ooh, good job, guys. But now we have a little bit of work to do. So while you'll get time up for good behavior, we have 3.45 seconds. Oh, you know what? Maybe Michelle can tell me. Is it still 45 seconds today? Let me know somebody so I can time you. I believe it's a tricep push-up. So, a couple of ways of doing it, on your knees or on your toes, of course. You can just have your hands closer like a chaturanga, or you can turn your fingers in like diamonds. I'm gonna go for 45 seconds. If I'm wrong, you owe me, what, a minute and a half? <laughs> a minute, 75 seconds if, you, if I'm wrong. All right, so, either fingers in a diamond, or hands in close and you do a little chaturanga push-up. All right, so I'm gonna get you started in 10 seconds for your first set. I'll give you a little break in between like we've just been doing. This is your plank challenge for the day. Set yourselves up, you got three seconds. Two, go. So here's my diamonds. Try to keep your elbows in, abs in tight. You can be on your knees, on your toes. You can also have your hands just chaturanga style with your um, hands forward, a little turnout, and the elbows rubbing the rib cage. Good, do your best for another 25 seconds. That's it, and if you need to be on a higher position, you know, on a bench, on a table, that's okay. Nothing wrong with that, 10 seconds. Five seconds. You're gonna get that same 15 second rest and rest. Stretch out in child pose. 
So, you know, you have a couple of options. If you could be in a full push-up, great. If you need to be on your knees, that's perfectly fine. We've got our second round. In three, <coughs> two, let's go. <coughs> Keep going. Do your best, do your best. Try to bring your elbows in by your side, Joe. So more by your rib cage rather than out, here. I know, they suck. I, nobody said they were fun. Keep the elbows in by your rib cage. Look forward, Maria. Oh, awesome, Ro. Good idea, perfect. All right, 10 seconds. Rosemary's on her stability ball. Doing it real. Five seconds. Three, two, child pose. Great choice, Rosemary. All right. We got one more round. And tomorrow, we have nine o'clock yoga and we'll do our last, uh, our next day. Let's go. 45 seconds. Keep it going, look forward. Bring the elbows by your rib cage. Think about those um, chest presses. We do close grip chest presses that we do when we're on our backs, which is also an option, but it's not a plank, right? Keep going. All right. Last 15 seconds and you don't have to do these again for, I don't know, until you take a yoga class. Three, two, oh my goodness, one. Sit back, stretch. Ooh, stay in this child pose. Nice. Take your right hand under your left. Lift up onto your knees and twist. Take your left hand behind your back and open up the shoulder. And release the bind. Both arms in front, hips up, chin down. Then take your left arm under your right arm, back of the head to the floor. Take the right arm behind your back, open up your shoulder. Good, release it, come back. Chin down or forehead down. And let's go ahead and stretch the front body. Bring the elbows down, lower your hips. Open your legs a little wider and lift your chest up. Sphinx pose, elbows squeeze in and pull towards your thighs or your chest. Breathe. rather than just cross at the ankles. Walk your hands forward. Big stretch for the hips. So we did a lot of hip work as well. Right? We did a lot of core work as well. We had a lot going on today. Walk your hands back in. Sit up, switch legs. Walk your arms in front of you. Stretch. You might feel different one side to the other because we do have a side that is a little bit more number one habitual so we sit into it easily um, and the other side might feel like a little bit more work is happening. And then walk your hands back up. Take a big breath in everybody. Take your arms all the way up over your head. Stretch all the way up. Lean to the right side. 
lean to the left side. Come back to center, arms behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Open up shoulders and chest one more time. And then release your arms. Give yourselves a big hug. Pat on the back. Open your arms, switch the cross of the arms. Pat on the back. Open up your arms, take a big breath in. And exhale, you are done. Wednesday, let's get over that hump. And if you're home, stay home, stay good, stay healthy, get fast.